Every week we like to talk about the three P's of personnel. And uh, if that's what we're talking about, we're talking to Mark Z from Longfellow Staffing. Welcome, Mark. Jeff, great to be here. Thank you, Mark. Uh, what's in the news this week? Well, first of all, it's interesting. Um, I, I regularly read Peter Post and uh, where he talks about etiquette at work in the Globe. And he really has some insightful comments. And it's sort of like art imitating life and life imitating art. And I continually have this um, um, reinforcement of a lot of uh, good comments that Peter makes when he, uh, he talks about uh, different subjects in the globe. So last week he, talk, he talked about looking good, feeling good, and smelling good um, when you're in the workplace. And I was interesting is because we had three people in, who went on three different interviews for different levels of jobs. And when we coached them, um, we had to talk to each person about an issue that pertained to <coughs> looking good, feeling good, and smelling good. For example, one of the, uh, um, one of the subjects he talks about is, is body odor and bad breath. He says, avoid these problems. And this is something you have to say, by showering daily, using deodorant. And what's interesting is some candidates, I don't know what it is, but they have a body odor program that pro problem not program uh, program they should set up a program <laughs> but they have a body odor problem where even when they use deodorant it seems to um, still come out in an interview and there is also the subject of cologne now what's interesting is Ugh. some interviewers um, actually are allergic to cologne and some interviewers can't breathe sometime and men and women whether it's cologne or perfume um, sometimes wear a lot of it and so what we've had to again do is when we're promoting um, uh, we're promoting better hygiene as well as odor to talk about this and make sure that this person does not um, overdo on the cologne or overdo on the perfume. My point is um, yesterday when we were prepping partners going on a major um, financial uh, um, interview with a major um, financial company um, talked about um, their clothing. Now these people came in for interviews um, very casually dressed to me and I said look that's fine with me when you're going on an interview even if the culture is a very casual culture you have to dress up. You have to wear a nice suit. And I was giving them example of another partner who went, went on a, um, an interview for a major law firm and he, sh he just wore a button down shirt, casual pants and very casual shoes. And, and he's casually still unemployed. Bang. You Show start. You start formal, as, and then you can dress down. You know. In, you know. It, after you know the environment. But if you don't know the right. environment, or if you haven't been told, I would even ask before the interview, "What's your? Do you have a dress code? Do you have a, a way that you like people to present?" I like to right. show that sensitivity. Right. But the other thing is is dressing for the part. So as you said, if it's a law firm, if if it's a um, um, a CPA firm, it's a fi if it's a big financial services um, type company wear a suit. If it's a sports company or apparel company, you want to be a little hipper. Or if it's a sports company, maybe dress in classic sports clothes. That's what you have to do. Adopt it to the interview. If I go on an interview with a sports company um, that's like a Reebok or a Nike, they want to see me maybe wearing some of their clothes and, and, and having that kind of fizzazz. They're not interested in me wearing a three-piece suit.